I'm Dr. M. V. Chandrakant. I'm a cancer specialist. I work in Narana Hospital and Narayan Tagore Hospital, Kolkata. So, well, we all have been uh, listening about uh, the news of uh, an immunotherapy molecule, dostalimab, and the headlines read out that the cancer cure has finally arrived after a long wait, 100% cancer cure. So, let us see how much true it is. And I keep getting messages, and uh, uh, all of my patients ask, Doctor, I have got can we get this drug dostalimab and can I get cured for it? So, uh, I thought of uh, sharing a bit of data as to how true it is. So, well, dostalimab is an immunotherapy molecule. Uh, in this particular study, they have uh, shown results in 12 patients. So, this is an early stage rectal cancer. They have used this molecule for 9 cycles and they have shown that out of 12 patients, all 12 patients, the rectal cancer has just vanished away, which we have never seen in oncology where just by injectables we are able to vanish rectal cancer which is phenomenal. So, but uh, this sort of excellent action is not seen in all patients. It is seen in only 5 to 10 percent of rectal cancers that do in early rectal cancer. So, if you use the same uh, dostalimab in advanced cancers, we see efficacy in around 10 percent where the tumor completely vanishes. Whereas, if you use in early stage rectal cancer, we are able to see 100 percent resolution in this particular study. But you need to remember that not all cancers respond so well to dostalimab or any immunotherapy to that matter. These uh, tumors should have a specific DNA repair deficiency, what we call as the microsatellite instability status. So, only if this particular test is positive in a rectal cancer, this drug is going to work in a magical way. For that matter, any immunotherapy is going to work in a magical way. So, therefore, uh, whenever you hear such news, you must always look into what is the patient population that is actually effective. So, whether is it rectal cancer, whether is it an early stage disease and whether uh, the tumor or the patient has a microsatellite instability, only then in the set of patients, this drug has shown excellent efficacy. So, well, the question is, uh, why only localized disease has shown excellent efficacy? Why not the metastatic disease has shown efficacy is a question. In a localized disease, what happens is if you look into the gastrointestinal tract, you have so many lymphoid cells, already the, uh, the immune cells are residing in the rectum. Plus, there are some gut microorganisms that are there inside. They interact and they improve the immunity and they improve the efficacy of these uh, molecules. So, only in localized rectal cancer we have seen uh, such good efficacy, whereas in metastatic disease we do not see such great. Again, comes back to the point that cancer is cured only when detected early. The danger signs of rectal cancer are number one, bleeding when you are passing stool, pain during passing stool and constipation. Remember, if this happened for one or two days, you should not mind. If these symptoms persist over a period of four to six weeks, only then they become red flag signs or danger signs for rectal cancer. So, the take home message should be early diagnosis. Whenever you have these symptoms, you must go back to the doctor early and get it diagnosed. Early rectal cancer and then having a microsatellite instability in this set of patients. Immunotherapy has shown 100% cure, which was never seen in the history of oncology. So, going further. Do we have this molecule dostalimum available in our country? Right now, no. We would anticipate it to be available soon. But similar molecule of similar class are already there with us like pembrolizumab, nivolumab, atizolizumab, duvolumab already there. In the hospital, we have used this molecule in more than 200 to 250 odd patients and we have shown excellent results. So, more importantly, the recent researchers are showing that even a lower dose of these drugs do so well uh, because cost is a constant in our country. So, lower doses with lesser costs can give equal benefit. So, well, before we close the video, before we say 100 percent cancer cure, probably it is too early because the study has just used in 12 patients and only a one year of follow up. Probably we should use in more number of patients the longer follow up before we come to a conclusion and not in everybody, only in those patients who have a defective DNA repair. So, immunotherapy is excellent, works beautifully, has least side effects, 
it's a fourth dimension after surgery radiation chemo immuno is a fourth dimension works so well but before we come to conclusions we need to understand which patient we we can put immunotherapy in place early stage micro satellite unstable so with this i hope i am able to clear a bit of confusion all your mind and i would thank you all of you for your patient listening thanks